Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Monday afternoon. Hope you're well. Hope you look after yourself and uh, whatever you're doing today. If you're at work, you're down the pub, you're taking the dog for a walk, or you're at the gym, enjoy it. Make sure you make sure that you enjoy it the most. Got a really interesting video around a couple of peculiar stories today. We've got one story surrounding Samuel Illing Jr. and Juventus's attitude to letting him leave in January as well as a quite interesting story around a swap deal with Leeds. So I'll talk to you more about both in just a second. If you're new, hit me with a subscribe. That'd be very much appreciated. Thank you very much. And let's jump in. And let's start with Ealing Jr. himself. And this came, there's two stories. So I'm going to hit you both and then talk about it. So the first one was from Ekrem Kanur, who put out that three Premier League sides are interested in Juventus' 20-year-old winger, Samuel Ealing Jr. Premier League clubs could make an offer of 15 million euros for the English player in January. The other one came from Football Insider, who put out Juventus could be open selling 20-year-old English winger Samuel Illing Jr., who has been a target of Tottenham in the January transfer window. So 15 million euros, I think it's something like 12 million pounds, somewhere within that realm. Don't, don't hold me to ex the exact figure. It's not a bad deal. It isn't. Um, look, I, I, I've been frank and I said the player that I would really want is Antonio Nusa from Club Bruges, right? I think, you know, I'm not going to surprise anyone with that. I'm not, that's not a revelation to, to who I fancy in that regard. You know, I said that I wouldn't mind Jota, I wouldn't mind Illing Jr., I wouldn't mind Noosa, I wouldn't mind any of them. My preference would be Noosa, but he's also probably going to be the most expensive of them all. Maybe Jota might be a tad bit more, depending on wages and things like that. With Illing Jr., he kind of looks like he might be one of the cheaper options. Um, because, by the way, I think Jota does get loaned with a with a buy option. And I think the buy option is going to be about 20 million, 25 million pounds. So that's why I say this one's the bit the cheapest. 15 million euros for an English under 21 international who obviously Juventus rate to a degree, but they can't really fit him into their team. I think just because mostly because they've got uh, Chiesa playing in that position. And obviously Chiesa is an absolute baller. <clears throat> I don't think it's a bad punt. I really don't. And to be honest, in I say in this economy of the football world, 12 million euros is genuinely feels like nothing nowadays. It didn't used to, but now it does. And I think, you know, it's one of those, like, I always regard as a low risk, high reward. There's, you know, there's a potential that he could really kick on. Is the potential that he could fall flat on his face. Obviously, like every transfer, but obviously when you get a more of an established star, a James Madison, for example, you kind of know what you're going to get. Whereas with an England junior, You've never really seen him play consistently at a top club for a you know a certain amount of time. You know, it's one of those things. But you know, I think it's something that we will look at. I think look, we need an attacking option. That's not shocking to anyone. You know, Richie's kind of not wanting to leave. Spurs don't want to let Richie leave. You've got Son, you know, you've got Kulisevsky, you've got Brennan Johnson who's just joined, you've got Brian Hill. We're gonna kind of wait and see what happens in January. I think Spurs might allow him to leave if they get a good enough offer. Alejo Veliz, he's got interest from a few clubs, you know. It's 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 an interesting concoction of players, but we do also get injuries in that position. And that's why I think he would be, you know, not not in a bad way, another body. That's a, that's a really bad way of, uh, of thinking about it. But it is that kind of way of, we're going to get injuries, he's going to get game time. I would hope, and also I feel like he's a different sort of player that we have. Because we've got Brennan Johnson, who's like the quick guy, right? Richie's not that quick, Brian Hill's not that quick. Kulisevsky's not that quick. Manuel Solomon's not that quick. It's just Brennan Johnson, but we quick with trickiness, we don't have. And it's I think it's something that we do lack in in our front three, to be fair. So I hope Spurs are in there. I won't lie. I do think Spurs are in there. I don't think Spurs would spend all this time scouting, being so interested. The fact we got Paratici as a guy who I think is allowed to be an advisor, but he's not allowed to get involved in deals. Well, Paratici is the Juventus boy. This is why he's suspended because of Juventus. So it, all it takes is a quick phone call, sets up a meeting and off it goes. It doesn't mean he's in control of the meeting because we know he's not. But the fact we have that connection means we're going to jump to the head of the line. We're more likely to, kept in, kept, well, we're more likely to be kept in a loop with what's going on with this deal. So exciting to see where, where, we, get, where we go with that one. This swap deal with Leeds. So this came from Team Talk who said that Tottenham are being tipped to use Joe Roden, obviously, He's on loan at Leeds. In a swap deal for Leeds winger, Wilfred Nonto. I think that's what he says. I think it's a silent G. Um, look, Joe Roden is, I think, at that level, a decent championship club. 
solid, solid. I think into maybe a lower tier Prem team, sort of mid table downwards, I think it's decent, you know. I think that's what I've said about sort of like an Eric Dyer. I think they'd be solid. We never, re I don't think we're ever going to get the 15 million back that we spent on him, right? So I look at it and go, look, he's having a good time at Leeds. He's doing well. His value is probably not going to get much higher, right? We obviously want them. So we wanted, we were linked with him in the summer. So if this is the case, then do it. Because actually, I think what's, what, and this is me with, with, with a prediction. I think if Spurs did this, I still think they're interested in England Junior with maybe a loan to an option to buy. I, I would love it to be, by the way, just then buy him up front. But I think that's where they're going to look at Lloyd Kelly with an up front and they're going to look at this deal if they with Illing Junior to more of a loan with an, with an obligation or an option to buy. With this one, if it's just a straight swap with maybe a few quid here and there, they'll be able to easily manufacture that deal, right? I think Brian Hill... Between now and January, he needs to be given at least not a, a try to see what we've got. I think a 10-minute here and there when we're under the cost really isn't it. He needs, he needs you know, a half hour, 35, 45, you know, maybe even a 60 minute to, to just see what we've got in the system. So we haven't really seen it. And I know a lot of you aren't too keen on Brian Hill, but we have to be honest. Has he had a fair chance this season under a whole new system, a whole new manager, a whole new regime? No. So we need to have a look, right? But I think... He probably will move on. I think Richarlison in the following summer will move on. Because that's the thing I think Spurs don't do. We don't seem to have this revolving door where we move players on, bring new fresh blood in. I mean, City do it. Arsenal do it. Liverpool are, you know, a, a very good team for it. You know, I think Chelsea, I mean, obviously Chelsea have spent a billion. They've bought 80 to 90 players or whatever. Then they haven't really had a chance to do it. But normally they're quite good at sort of removing players from the club. I think we need to be better at that as well. You know, just you know, you might not always get the deal that you want, but you do need to start moving players on. So I think you know, if you're moving Brian here on, you know, you're going to be left. I think Richardson on the summer, you're going to be left obviously with Sonny, a Valise, a Kulisevsky, a Brennan Johnson, a Mano Solomon, right? So you got five. I think you need seven personally. Okay, so if it's a Nonto and an Illing Junior, happy days. If Let's say, well, Sonny is getting older, to be fair. You're going to need to bring a striker in, I think. Unless, if the Lees doesn't do it and cut it, you'd have to bring a striker in. If he turns out to be half decent, then he'll have time to grow into being the number nine. But I think having those two wingers, if it is a Nonto and Italy Junior, I think it's smart business. Then, you know, you look at the left centre-back being, you know, maybe Lloyd Kelly. You look at right centre-back being an area where we can really hone in on. With right-back, I still think needs work. I still think left-back needs... You know, backups. I think Sessignon probably is going to move on. Perisic will go. I think Ben Davies is now starting to reach that time where I think he'll move on. Emerson, I think we'll need to move on from Emerson. You know, into the midfield, you're going to probably be, have to move on with Hoiberg and Lacelso. You have to replace those two. Because I think this is what I say about you know, this window, get a couple. If you can sort out left centre-back and another attacking option, then in summer, when you move on from, I think, four or five players... You know, you're going to be moving on from Dyer. You're going to move on from Larice, which is fine. We know about them. Dyer's going to get replaced as right centre-back. You're going to have to move on from Perisic. He'll be gone, but we've not really had him this season, and we won't anyway. You know, Ben Davies, I think you'll have to move on from. Session, I think you have to move on from. You're not going to get 35 million for Session again, that's for sure. E e Emerson as well. So you're looking at Larice, Dyer, Emerson, Session, Perisic, Davies... Um, Hoiberg, Le Celso, Richarlison and Brian Hill. That's 10. So this is why I still think you need to get maybe a couple gone this uh, this uh, window, maybe four or five next window, and then the following January, maybe another couple. And then you start to see this is more of an Ange squad. That's why I say he needs at least two windows, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, at the end of the video, I hope you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comments section below. Look, you've got the situation of the loan deal for Joe Roden going to Leeds permanently. Wilfred Nonto coming the other way. Let me know what you think about that. As well as potentially Spurs making an offer for Illing Jr. in the January chance market. I hope we do. Let's see what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, it's the end of the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.